Who built Colossus? When and how? Bletchley Park is able to break Lorenz traffic from the latter part of 1942, thanks to the work of Bill Tutt and John Tiltman. However, that breaking process is very slow and tedious and difficult to achieve. So the impetus comes about to try and mechanise parts of the process. This is partly inspired by the previous bomb machines used for Enigma, which do the same job speeding up certain parts of the code-breaking process. Bletchley Park turns to recent recruit, Max Newman, who was previously at Cambridge University. He had joined Bletchley Park in the summer of 1942 and was already working in the testery, the section working on hand-breaking of Lorentz. He was established in a team which, in typical Bletchley style, was known as the Newmanry, after his name, Max Newman. And he set about uh, coming up with ideas about how the process could be mechanised. The first product of this was uh, a machine which we know as Heath Robinson, although exactly how that title came about, we don't know. And what that machine did was use paper tapes, uh, teleprinter tape, to statistically analyse messages and to fit the keys that uh, a separate section, the testery, had devised um, to see where the key, the cipher key, fitted onto the particular message. And this involved basically a lot of very fast electronic counting. Uh, Those machines came into service in the course of 1943 and speeded up the code-breaking process a good deal. Unfortunately, the machines were quite unreliable and the process was still quite slow, so there was a further impetus to to build a second machine and to improve the system even more. At this point, uh, Alan Turing recommended to Max Newman an engineer from the post office who had been working with Alan Turing on various other projects previously. This is a man called Tommy Flowers, and uh, Turing suggested to Newman that Tommy might be the man to help him design this improved machine. And indeed, that's what's happened. Uh, Newman briefed the team at the post office research station at Dollis Hill, and they enlisted Tommy Flowers and his team to build what becomes known as Colossus, or the first Colossus. There were actually 10 machines built by the end of the war. The first one, Flowers starts building it in the autumn of 1943, and it's delivered to Bletchley Park 80 years ago in January 1944.